Hi researchers, do you know that Grammarly updates its feature specifically for you to make your research more professional and more fast? You were using Grammarly previously just for editing and proofreading but now with its update features you can use multiple features most of the paid tools are offering. You have to just log in with your Gmail ID and you will come up with this kind of a interface which is totally free. You have to upload any of your research document by using its upload feature and you can customize your goals by selecting the domain in which you are working, the type of document you want Grammarly to improve or proofread and the format of references you want to keep in, in writing and referencing. After setting your goals, you will press done and Grammarly will start analyzing your document according to the set goals and the formats you want to keep in, in your document. I found 532 uh, review suggestions by keeping in view the correctness, clarity, engagement delivery and style guide I can even accept three suggestions at one time or seven at once so for example if I click I want to accept seven suggestions at once it will review me the seven suggestions at this uh, specific bar and I will accept all the suggestions after reviewing either I have want to keep it in my document or not so this is the feature which you can access in free and you can even access this feature by installing the Grammarly extension in your Word document and when you are writing any kind of a document in your Microsoft Word this kind of suggestions you will get by that Grammarly extension. Now the very exciting feature which Grammarly introduced for you is a write with Generative AI and here the Grammarly is not just going to give you the ideas but it also helps you to improve your document by providing you some suggestions to improve that document. So for example I want to improve this specific area I will select it and I will press on improve it. So this is my original content. Another academic pressure that arises at the level of stress and can lead to burnout is the publish or perish mentality. Waiting for an author has two responsibilities to be informative and to keep a reader interested. Another source of academic pressures that increases stress and can lead to burnout is to publish or perish mentality. Writing as an author comes with two essential responsibilities providing informative content and keeping the reader engaged. So the content which Grammarly provides me seems more natural more easy to understand and in a well structured format with a good academic tone so I would definitely prefer to take this specific paragraph as compared to the previous one which I have in the original document in the same way I can use its feature to sound more on a brand if I provide it my brand voice otherwise I can use its feature to short this specific information or even I can generate more ideas by making it sound more academic or even when I can rewrite it, simplify it, shorten it. These are the features which you are getting in free again by using Grammarly AI web browser. By using Grammarly AI, you can identify the gaps in the information by asking questions. For example, it provides me some suggestions which I can ask by picking any of them or even I can type my own. For example, I just want to copy it and want to get the answer of all these to information in my document against these queries because these are related to the document which I provided. So these are the gaps which Grammarly AI highlights first and then provide me excessive information to put in my document. Even I can rewrite it, evaluate it by identifying the gaps, give me more ideas for improvement. I can generate ideas for a blog post from this specific document or I can even generate the headlines and this tool also helps me to generate the outline of my document. The third very important feature of Grammarly is that it's going to help help you the plagiarism and AI detection of your document by staying on the same interface and after taking the report of, of plagiarism and AI detection from Grammarly we will cross check it with the report of Turnitin and we'll see the validity of this report that either you can use this tool for AI and plagiarism report or not. For your information this feature of Grammarly AI is paid and to access it in free you can use its seven days free trial by providing you uh, payment details and you can check the potential of this feature. So my document have 5% of plagiarism and 8% of AI detection and now I'm going to check the same document on Turnitin and we'll see the difference between the percentage of AI and plagiarism. The Turnitin report shows that our document is only 1% plagiarized and according to the report of Grammarly our document is about 5% plagiarized and we will get sources or the match sources just by clicking on the links from where the plagiarism have 
have been detected. So if you want to use any AI tools for idea generation, for editing, proofreading, and for AI and grammar plagiarism checking, then grammar is the best choice for you. If you are facing any kind of AI plagiarism in your document, don't forget to watch my this video and also visit my AI in research playlist where you will find multiple videos which are going to help you in your research journey. And don't forget to share. We'll see you in another video.